Okay, so I'm basically, first I'm gonna explain to you how this is gonna work. This is our model stomach. As you can see, there are two valves here at the top, which can be open and closed. And other than that, it's basically just a plain old plastic soda bottle. Um, so because we couldn't drill another hole without the food obviously falling out, to replicate the esophagus, we're using one of these valves that can be easily opened and shut, similar to your esophagus. And we're also using the other valve to represent the opening to the small intestine, which is similar to a valve. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be pouring some drain cleaner, which has acid in it, to help break up food into this bottle and shaking it around to replicate the main function of the stomach, which is to help digest food. This then will be poured out of our small intestine valve, um, just like it would in a regular sick stomach. As a safety precaution, I will be using these plastic gloves to make sure I don't get any acid on myself. Okay, so now we have put the acid within the stomach. As you can see, it's this yellowish liquid at the bottom. And what we're gonna be doing now is eating our food. So our person today is going to be eating mini wheats. And to represent what the mouth and the esophagus has already dealt with this guy, um, regarding the digestive process, we are going to be chopping the mini wheats up into more manageable pieces. All right, so now we're putting the mini wheats in and I'm using a straw to sort of push the mini wheats down into our stomach, which represents what the swallow we do typically when we swallow. And I'm actually, take off my glove for this so I can get them into the hole. All right, so we will stop filming temporarily and Okay, so we've put the mini wheats in and we also put a little milk in because who doesn't enjoy milk with their cereal? And what we began to do, and what you can see here, is we began to shake the bottle around. And what that represents is typically what happens in the stomach while it's digesting is the muscles are able to churn the stomach and help it digest food. But since we don't have muscles, we've been shaking the bottle instead. Now, digestion typically takes more than five minutes to successfully complete, but You can see in this bottle we're making some sort of progress with the digestion of the mini wheats. So we will come back when we've finished. All right, so now we're going to open the small intestine valve. And you can see before we pour it out in the sink, you can see in here that although we do have a couple of pieces of mini wheat, it's generally been dissolved and is not in the original state it was put in there. And because we didn't have all the time to digest it, but, um, it's understandable that not everything has been completely absorbed yet. So you can watch as we pour it out into the sink. We have a couple small pieces of mini wheats, but generally it is pretty clear.